Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen and I'm gonna show you how to make an ambulance shaped cake. Now before we begin, if you need any tools or supplies, check in the description below. You might find some links that can help you. All right, so I made two eight inch square cakes, chocolate cakes. And as you see, I cut maybe a quarter of it off on the one side to make it rectangular. I'm using those two pieces right there and there that you see, I'm just stacking them on top of one of another. And those are going to, be going to become the cab part of the truck, whereas the back I left all big to be the actual medical part of the ambulance. I'm cutting the top piece, as you saw there, at an angle, and that's going to give the, um, the look for the hood or in the windshield, not the hood, the windshield of the, of the ambulance. And I needed more cake, so I'm using the pieces I cut off the top to make it nice and level to make the hood now of the vehicle. And you might see some reflections and hands and things in this video because I have my mom over and she was staying with me for a little while and she likes to watch me when I make these cakes. So guest starring my mother on today's Kicktastic Cakes episode. All right, once you get the hood and the cab and everything all sized up, put it on a cake plate. As you saw, I trimmed it off with a pencil and then I cut out my cake plate. I ended up doing two of these. Um, because it was just a heavy cake and one was not enough to support it. Uh, once you get your cake plates cut out and everything, the sensible thing to do is to put your cake on and then start icing it, but I didn't do that because I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea why. I wanted a challenge, I guess. So I iced my cake up, and then you're going to see later on I'm going to slide it onto the cake plate. Um, as I was saying, though, I used two cake plates. I cut them out the same size. Because you're going to see that your cake is actually pretty darn heavy and that it's going to need the support. This cake is lifted up off the ground. My husband made a little wooden stand for it to sit on so that the, um, the whole body of the truck is not laying on the cake plate. It's being supported underneath by basically like a letter I shape made out of wood. And yeah, so it needed the support. And you can see where the tires are placed on the vehicle that they're not, you know, at the far corners. They are tucked under the big medical cab part and they're kind of forward as well under the, you know, driving part of it as well. Um, the tires technically should have been even more forward, more under the hood of the ambulance and not under where the people would sit inside when they're driving, but I had to do something. It was just too much forward and too much weight in the back. So. Yes, okay, lots of support for your cake plates if you're going to have it lifted up. All right, I am just about done icing the pieces together, as you can see here in the video, and now I am trying to slide it onto the cake boards because once again, I made my life difficult for no reason except I just wasn't thinking. So once it's now on the cake board, I am adding more of my uh, icing there and just coating the whole darn thing. And I kept going and I kept going and I coated the whole darn thing. And at this point, I was trying to make my edges. Oh, there's that wooden thing. You see, my husband just put it down. I mentioned I've, I had a lot of people watching me. He's fidgeting with it in the background. Okay. So anyway, I am trying to ice it and get, you know, more of a sharp corner on the edges and everything. Because at this point, I'm going to cover it in fondant once it's set. And I don't want any rounded edges as much as I can you know as much as I can make it sharper so now we're getting into the fondant just like I had mentioned earlier okay I put my cake in the refrigerator and let it set for like a good couple of hours I really wanted it as firm as could be I took it out I put it on top of that little wooden eye thing that lifts it up off of the cake plate and then I rolled out my fondant as you see and laid it over the whole darn thing. And I ended up stretching a little bit on the other side that you'll see, but it's okay because we cover it with little details, right? That's what you do. You hide it. So I'm using my fondant smoother to spread it all out, smooth it down. I'm trying to follow the edges. I'm using an X-Acto knife to carefully carve along the bottom of the cake plate. And now it looks like my cake is, you know, up off the ground on blocks as it were, <laughs> I guess I parked it in a bad neighborhood. So I am trying to get my corners back, trying to get the sides as flat as I can. It's not quite as flat and sharp as maybe it could be, but I had a sudden rush on the cake. I thought I had a whole other day to finish it, and then I got a call, and they're like, oh, hey, 
we messed up. Could you have it for tonight? And I'm like, of course I can because I'm awesome. So yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't have it quite as sharp and edged as, as maybe I otherwise would have. So take your time with it if you've got the time. And yeah, just tuck in your edges, make it look good. Now, this is how I made the tires. The details are kind of irrelevant because if you are sending it to a certain, you know, ambulance corps like I was, it's going to be specifically painted and, and <clears throat> have words on it, whatever that you're going to have to get. This is how I did it. The tires are generic, so I'm showing you this. Cut out my black circles. They're kind of thick, not even half an inch, though. They're not, you know, crazy thick. I made indents with the back or the end of my rolling pin put little flat gray circles in the center and I'm using the back of my paintbrush to make I don't know what you call them hubcap holes in them and put a little ball of gum paste in the center of each one and press it down and bada bing bada boom hubcaps yeah right now we've got tires on our ambulance look at that bad boy and as I spin it around to clean off some of the powdered sugar you can see that side yeah a little jacked up right but that's okay we're gonna hide it this is kind of like the uh, diamond plated metal you know the steel metal with the diamond plating I think that's what it's called that goes around the edge of my ambulance anyway so I rolled out some thin gray did some hashtagging all over it and then using my rolling cutter thingy that I've got rolled it out a little bit thicker than what I should have done but again you know I'm hiding the details and, and cramming for this cake order so there you go when you put it on there you're like what you can't even see those mistakes anymore right? They just disappear. It's amazing. It's like the cosmetics of the cake world. Okay, so I get my sides on, I get the back on, I just decided to put a white bumper on it because the picture I was sent is just from the side of the ambulance. I didn't get to see the front or back, so I just Google imaged it and kind of made a nice generic blend, if you will. Okay, these little gray squares you're going to see a whole lot. I made a bunch of gray squares, a little rectangular maybe, and I'm putting some lines on them, just straight across, three lines on each one. These are going to represent lights. Now, I have a whole bunch of lights on the front. I think I ended up with seven, if I remember correctly. And I'm just sticking them on with some water. Again, if I had another day, let's say, hypothetically, maybe I would have added some more details to it. But I got this sucker done, let me tell you. I'm adding some more lights to it, little orange lights that were in the picture that I could see. And these are the details for the sides of my ambulance. My um, township uh, likes to really go in on a nice slate blue and orange design. They are, they're very popular with the slate blue and orange up here, I guess, because we are in the Poconos and we have a ton of slate rock around. So there you go. I had a big stripe, a smaller stripe under it. And I was trying to be clever and do all the same color before I moved on to the next one. And all I did was make it difficult for myself because I eventually had to go back and add a different color between the two layers and then it didn't fit. So I had to peel stuff off and then reapply. So yeah. Okay, across the back, like I'd mentioned before, I didn't really know what I was doing. But generically speaking, you're going to have the word ambulance written on it. You're going to have two doors with two windows and lots of lights. So yeah, that's where I was going with that. I just decided to put the stripe across the back because I figured why not? And there's that different color that didn't quite fit. Yeah, there's that different color that didn't quite fit. What you're not seeing is me peeling everything off and being angry and freaking out because I had to get that sucker done in like two hours. But yeah, the power of editing, right? So I filled it in as best I can and eventually you end up with a pretty slick design going all around it and if you are design you know putting the designs for your own company or whatever on your ambulances just make sure to take the time to get your lines straight that's really pretty important because ambulances are nice and crisp they're not you know wavy and fiery and you know I had it custom detailed in a shop somewhere this is like professional so yeah there we go so on the one side, I have the double windows, and I have a little window that's going to become a door. And on the other side, I had no clue what it was, so I just put double windows and called it good. There you go. And yes, you see all the people walking around me. They like to watch me. I mentioned that before, I think. All right, this is my windshield. It's just big old black piece of gum paste that I kind of measured out and stuck on, and then I realized it was too thick, so I cut some off. I didn't use any water yet. So that's why I was able to do that. So if you stick your windshield on and you need to trim it, don't use any water. 
first, you know, stick it on and then size it up. I added some black lines on the front for the grill of the vehicle. As you see, I added some windshield wipers that were pretty generic, just a couple black rectangles. I mentioned the orange in my district's design, so uh, it looks kind of like the like a little blip on an EKG meter or something, so that's what I'm going for here. It's just one little triangle on a line of orange. Stick it on, you know, watch the divide between the cab and the rest of the vehicle. Um, on the front of it and my generic pictures that I looked up, there was a lot more lights, so I started adding lights. There's the orange blip on the other side because I figured it's probably on both sides. That's when I realized that I forgot uh, the dark blue stripe on the bottom of the front uh, there. I'm adding some of my, you know, lights there, my gray rec squares with the lines on them that symbolize any type of light that isn't orange or red on my vehicle. The sides on the back were kind of sloppy, so I am hiding them, as you can see, with a stripe of orange because why not? Nobody can prove to me that it's not striped in orange on the back. I used a food coloring marker to draw the doors on, as you can see. Okay, coming together, the front has the red and orange lights. I added some red and orange lights to the back of the vehicle as well. I'm using my food coloring marker again to draw out some doors. And at this point, I'm just adding details. Little fine lines here and there. I drew a door. I, there you go, some more lights on the back. I'm going to end up putting some headlights on, the same little rectangles again. But that's okay, they still look good. I'm drawing handles on. There was a little compartment next to it, so I drew that on it as well. I just decided to put a line across the top because the roof kind of had like a deviation in the picture that I saw and it just made it look better. There was some kind of a round symbol with words on it. I don't remember anymore what it said. So I got a blue marker because it was blue and I tried to draw that on and of course I couldn't do it because it was teeny tiny compared to what would fit on an ambulance. But I tried and I just gave the feel of it. Some more red lights once again. Uh, there's some more black line along the top that I kind of messed up, but that's okay. And yeah, so just filling in the little stuff. These little details are going to make a big difference. I drew a line to separate the cab from the actual metal, medical part. Make a line across for the hood. Put some lines on the side, a line across the top again. You know, just, just little things like that. It really helps. It helps break up the monotony of all that white. There was the... Um, I don't know what it's actually called, the medical symbol where you have kind of like the cross, the X with the staff with the snake on it, you know, you can see. So I tried to draw it on on either side of the back there, a little slow motion so you have time to pick it up. There are a bunch of words written on the van so, or on the ambulance, so you can see it says Delaware Township and all that stuff on the one side. You can see on the front, I wrote ambulance backwards. Make sure you write it backwards, people, on the on the hood of your ambulance. That's super important. That's anywhere you go in our country, you're going to see it written backwards on the front. More words, more symbols, you know, just fill it in. Make it look busy. You've got the ambulance written across the back. You've got it on the sides. Make sure it is backwards on the front, people. That is super important. If you're not going to do anything else, make sure it says ambulance backwards on the hood of your ambulance, okay? Okay. And then once I saw how kind of boring it was just sitting there on that blank plate, I piped some fake grass out of icing uh, just to give it a little color, make it a little more interesting, and I think it really pulled it off. So there you go. That's how you make an ambulance. Easy, right? So thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me on this long video. Please check out my other videos. Please like and subscribe. That really helps me out. And as always, guys, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.